Hello, and welcome to Next Level Data. We're here to enhance professional baseball players by a data-driven approach to in-game strategy. Be sure to check out our previous videos on our channel for more content. Today, for our fifth video, we will analyze a right-handed pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. First start since September the 25th, and he started against the right-hander. And the fact Nine JT, 108.3, Jay Bruce, Hoskins strikes. Swing and a miss. Kyle Wright was taken out of Vanderbilt University with the fifth overall pick in the 2017 draft by the Atlanta Braves. Wright made his debut in September of 2018 and made four appearances out of the bullpen that year. Over 2019 and 2020, Wright has been constantly bouncing back between AAA and the big leagues and has had 15 appearances with 12 starts throughout the two seasons. There is a reason for Wright bouncing back and forth, and I think it's been obvious so far his production has not matched up with where the Braves had hoped it would be at this point. As we'll see, Wright has the tools to succeed in the big leagues, but hasn't used them correctly to this point. On this episode, I'll include suggestions on what I think Wright could improve on in regards to pitch shape, pitch allocation, and much more. So let's get started. Wright features five pitches, a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a curveball, a slider, and a changeup. There is a reason that Wright was drafted fifth overall, and was even talked about for being the popular choice to go first overall in 2017. And that reason probably has to do with the fact that all five of these pitches from Wright have the potential to be better than average big league offerings. But some adjustments and changes should be made to get the most out of his repertoire. Let's start with Wright's fastballs. Wright throws both a sinker and a four-seam fastball, and has fluctuated his usage rate of the two throughout his career, as he used to rely solely on his four-seamer, but now primarily uses his sinker. Although the production hasn't come to fruition yet, I do believe Wright's sinker is a better pitch than his four-seamer, and it should be used more. To look into the sinker, it features a heavy amount of seam-shifted wake, which creates that late movement and strongly correlates to weak contact. Take a look at right-handed hitter's production against Wright's sinker in 2020. This leads me to believe that Wright should feature his sinker almost exclusively to right-handed hitters and should probably avoid throwing it to lefties at all based off what we see here. This leads us to Wright's four-seamer, which should be his primary fastball against these left-handed hitters. The problem is, despite on-paper success with the four-seamer to lefties, we see the expected results are not as promising. This brings us to how Wright's four-seamer can improve. First and foremost, we have to fix the shape of the four-seamer. The first thing we notice is the active spin percentage of Wright's four-seamer, which is only around 83%. Essentially, this means the pitch is a cutter, which is hurting the potential for vertical break and making the pitch less effective than it can be. Similar to Tuki Toussaint, Wright needs to straighten up his four-seamer and increase efficiency to create more ride and life to the pitch through pure backspin. This will increase vertical break and decrease horizontal break as the pitch becomes more efficient. For a right-handed pitcher like Wright, a more vertical-oriented four-seamer will generally play better against left-handed hitters, so if he is able to increase active spin, the pitch could become a weapon against lefties. Additionally, the pitch has been thrown a lot down in the zone. If Wright can straighten out the pitch and create more vertical break, then it would more than likely thrive when thrown in the upper half of the zone. Now that we've touched on Wright's fastballs, let's move on to his breaking pitches, where we'll spend a lot of time. This is an area where I see a lot of potential improvement for Wright. Wright throws both a slider and curveball, and both have been graded as potential plus pitches in the past. To start with the slider, this pitch can be a true weapon at times, and has even produced some very positive numbers in the past. This is most likely a result of the seam-shifted wake present in the pitch, which causes late breaking action. However, the pitch can still be improved mightily, and has some characteristics that leave more to be desired. To start, the pitch features slightly above average spin, but it seems like Wright doesn't take advantage of the spin, as his active spin averages around 25%, and the pitch yields below average vertical break and horizontal break. In layman's terms, the pitch is in no man's land, and can often float into the zone for hitters when it backs up. Take a look at some examples. Not everybody can do it. Here, at her three Miami hits. Fly ball. Did you notice how there was almost no movement and the pitch just floated towards the hitter? Again, sometimes the pitch features more late break because of that seam shifted wake, but often right gets minimal movement from the pitch when it features this cement mixer shape. This would lead me to suggest altering the pitch into a different shape. Wright and the Braves could go in many different directions with how to change the shape, but I believe the quickest fix possible would be turning the pitch into a gyro slider. A perfect gyro slider is essentially a slider that spins like a bullet or a football, 
which means the spin doesn't affect the movement of the pitch at all. This would be like the exact opposite of a perfectly spun four-seam fastball. For the gyro slider, the only factor affecting the movement of the pitch is gravity. The gyro slider is basically just a shortcut to kill lift and get movement because there is an inability to create movement otherwise. Wright's present lack of movement leads me to believe that a gyro slider could be the most beneficial pitch for him to transition to and would also most likely be the quickest one to transition to. In addition, sometimes pitchers see an uptick in velocity when switching to a gyro slider. So it is possible Wright could see his slider creep into the low 90s if he made the switch. Also of note is that if Wright were to follow through with this change, he would most likely need to save the pitch almost exclusively for right-handed hitters, as the pitch is generally much more effective against same handness hitters. Now let's dive into Wright's curveball. Wright's curveball was spun at 2700 RPMs last year and features more of a present slurve shape that's more 10-4 shape than 11-5 or 12-6. This is reflective in not only the spin direction of the pitch, but also in the below average vertical break and drastically above average horizontal break we see here. Essentially, Wright's curveball has almost the exact shape as Adam Ottavino's slider. This means that Wright needs to either classify the pitch as a slider and use it as such, or shift it into a curveball, or possibly even both of these things. Keep the current curveball and call it a slider while creating a newer, more vertical-oriented curveball. In my opinion, Wright's potential curveball needs to have a spin direction of at least 730 or below in order to be effective. Ideally, the pitch would be thrown with the spin direction around 7, and by getting over the top of the ball more, would increase spin efficiency to a more desirable range. Right spin would be used more to his advantage in this scenario, and the pitch would also be a likely weapon against left-handed hitters. Obviously, there are a lot of moving parts here, and I'm not saying Wright should try to change everything at one time. It's important to remember when analyzing players that these changes come to fruition in a variety of different time periods, and every player and potential change is different. With that being said, I do think that long-term, Wright would be best suited to shift to a gyro slider and either shift his current curveball to a more depth-oriented pitch or keep his current curveball the same and identify it as a sweeping slider while adding a vertical plane curveball. I know it may sound like a lot, but these are changes I do believe can be effective with time. Now let's look at Wright's changeup. Coming out of college, it was a consensus that Wright's changeup was his least effective pitch. But in 2020, Wright used the pitch almost exclusively against lefties and was very effective with it, yielding these results. After Wright is able to straighten out his four-seamer and use it against lefties, I believe his changeup will be even more productive, as the pitch features an ideal velocity differential and above-average horizontal run. However, I would warn Wright to be careful when using this pitch against right-handed hitters as it features lower vertical break and will most likely not miss a lot of bats while lacking this much depth. Wright commands this pitch well and should look to build off its success from 2020. Now let's summarize and give Wright three keys to success for his career to take off. Number one, breaking pitches. Figuring out a gyro slider and possibly transitioning his current curveball to a sweeping slider while adding a vertical-oriented curveball seems like a lot but I believe it's far from impossible. First, I think Wright should address his current curveball and either shift it to a much more depth-oriented pitch or create an entirely new curveball that features that vertical break. I say this because a curveball with vertical break can be used against lefties, unlike his current curveball, current slider, and potential gyro slider. After a vertical breaking pitch is implemented, Wright should focus on molding a gyro slider to give him an additional weapon against righties. So now for review and clarification. Ideally, we want to transition the current slider into a gyro slider, take the current curveball without change, and use it as a sweeping slider, and most importantly, create a vertical-oriented curveball. In my opinion, all of this could happen within a year if it is a point of emphasis for Wright. Number two, fastball shape and usage. Wright's current sinker is a pitch that I would leave alone, while his four-seamers can use some improvement. After ironing out the shape of his four-seamer, it will be all about allocating the right type of fastball to the hitters based on handness. Number three, attacking left-handed hitters. Wright needs to continue throwing his changeup to lefties, and after fixing his four-seamer, could see more success overall against left-handed hitters. Having a vertical-oriented breaking ball will also aid greatly in Wright's ability to get lefties out. In my opinion, Kyle Wright still has the ability and time to live up to his former top prospect and high draft choice ceiling. I hope he can implement these changes and see success in the big leagues soon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, feel free to follow us on socials at NXTLVLDATA. Thanks for watching.